Hello YouTube fans. This is my algae bioreactor part 2 with solar panels. As you can see I have 8 tubes now as opposed to the 3 that you saw before. Some improvements I've made is a water tank, a box to hold all the electronics including the batteries, one of the 15 watt solar panels. So let's go ahead and take a look at the system. Alright, now as you can see up here, uh, before I start up there, as you can see over here I have a water tank, it's 35 gallons, and that 35 gallons is fed to this water pump here, which pumps the water all the way up to the top over here. The tube to the right is a return, because as these tubes are filling there's air inside, and that air gets compressed so it needs a relief and that second set of tubing is a relief. Of course since the tubes top out, uh, the excess water that tops out at the top goes through that tube as well. So Now this tank what I'm using it for is to feed the algae. This time as you can see I'm not using an air pump. Um, I'll probably be filling this tank next time on part 3 next year with uh, carbon dioxide as it goes to the top, I mean through the tank. I do have a vent at the top of this tank which uh, lets out the excess heat inside that tank out. Over here, I have a uh, cool water right there going through it to uh, keep this cool. And the way it does that is here at the bottom of the tubes which you can see that they're all connected. The tubes, you know, exit here, go under the big tank, go into that trash can right there that's full of the water, and it returns back into the water tank where it then goes back into the water pump, so on and so forth. So a cycling system. Now, as you can see here on all the tubes, I have algae at the bottom. I normally collect that in the morning because uh, right now since the heat as you can see the algae likes to float in there but with this process though with the water pump it breaks down the algae and uh, it doesn't let it stick to the tubes as much so it's a lot easier to harvest this algae this way so I'm, I'm happy about that as opposed to last time where I had to scrub inside the tubes to get the algae out now here, you see all these bubbles right here, and that's all the oxygen production from the algae. And it just kind of sticks there on the tube, it's fine, it's pure oxygen. Uh, the algae also likes to stick inside the tank here, so every once in a while I do have to uh, scrub the tank. But that's fine, because when I scrub the tank, the uh, clumps of algae go through that tube. It's broken down by the water pump into little chunks, which I harvest later on, so kind of makes it an easy process. But for part three, I will have a centrifuge, so I don't have to go through that process. It'll just be more automated, so I have a microcontroller on this project as well to do some of the controls, so that way when I'm not around, the system's monitoring heat, yada yada yada. I'll talk about that more on part three next year. Um, there on top of the tank. You can see the two returns. The one that's closest to the camera is the return for the bottom of the tubes and the one that's towards the back is the return for the top of the tubes. That go back into the tank. I removed the top part of the shade for the tank so that way you guys can see the tank better because it's really well shaded so it was kind of hard to see so I removed the top so that way you guys can see it. I was going to have more tubes, but budget didn't allow me to have more tubes. They went up in price as far as the company that I bought the tubes from. So what I had factored in wasn't really feasible. I have extra plywood here too. I'm going to build a box for that to keep it cool and warm so I can grow algae all year long. But again, that'll be in part three. Uh, build little by little. I uh, broke the bottom right there as you can see. I accidentally was... Uh, working on the top here and everything like that trying to do some repairs I overstepped a little bit and stepped on a weak point which 
broke it, but that'll be a winter repair, so I'll put a new beam there. And uh, as far as harvesting, this is what I get pretty much every uh, couple of days. As you can see there, it's a three liter uh, Coke bottle here. And uh, that's what I pretty much pull out every two days as far as algae. So it's not bad. When I dry it out though, it's only... I use a medium sized peanut butter jar to store the algae that's dried up. So every two harvest, I can fill up a peanut butter jar. So far I think I have like eight or so. I forgot how many I have. Uh, of course there's the solar panels again, control box. And that's pretty much it. That's the algae bioreactor part two with solar panels. Thanks for watching.